Uh, hi, I'm Seth. Uh, I've been a friend of Liam since we were young. He wasn't always like this, a hipster. At one point in time, he was a normal guy until that one unfortunate evening. He listened to the Arctic Monkeys song, Are You Mine, I believe it was. From there on, it just went down really quickly. Almost a week later, he was listening to Japanese children music or chorus music. I, I'm not sure. I've ceased to understand his thinking. They told me I didn't understand happiness. So I told them they didn't understand life. So I was out on one of my nature excursions where I go to become one with my surroundings. I thought maybe I should go to the mainstream grocery store, but I decided not to. And instead I went into the green eggplant. You probably never heard of it, man. I decided to go into the back of the green eggplant where everything's kind of obsolete and people don't really know about these ingredients and I use them because they're really, um, really, really hard to get a hold of. So I see all these dandelion leaves and they're there and I thought I could get a really good deal on these dandelion leaves. So I, I grabbed a lot of them, they were the only thing I bought and I took them home that night and I started up my wood stove and I was, I was only burning my logs. I made sure that the logs were gluten-free because the gluten fumes could actually ingest and really hurt like my immune system and I could really get kind of sick from them because I'm gluten tolerant, you see. I like having my natural state away from gluten. I threw on my steel-free pot it's, um, it's a special type of metal that you probably have never heard of. I brought the dandelion leaves to a boil and I stirred them a little bit and I mashed them up and I made, uh, what, are, what, are you, what are those normal mainstream people call it? Guacamole dip, but it was actually at a dandelion leaf. So it was dandelion leaf dip and my friends who came over, they th said it tasted appalling. But I mean, I said that appalling taste is like related to your body actually rejoicing in th the experience that it's getting from the dandelion leaves. So, this here is a two fish in the sea forever locked in turmoil, like angels and demons. The angels are in pursuit of the demons trying to understand why, so it resembles the circle of the angels falling from heaven down to hell and the demons trying to escape hell. Now, the fish in the sea are very symbolic to um, ancient literature. Like uh, with pirates, this age, it, I made it look like pirate swords because the pirates have a very huge resemblance to like fish in the sea because pirates are also in the sea. So uh, those are my tattoos. Is there gluten in this? I don't know, maybe. Let me see that wrapper. Does it really matter? Yeah. I mean... Ah! Oh, oh my god, I can't believe I touched that, man. I'm gluten intolerant, and that could have really made me throw up, dude. That was my lunch. You almost poisoned yourself with gluten. You understand that I have saved you from the evil spirits that actually come out of the gluten. They, they have to do with hell. And, oh my hell. gosh, not the angels and demons again. Okay. The angels and demons in your soul. How are we even friends? This right here is the gluten line. If the demons manage to pass the gluten line, your angels will become corrupt. What does that have to do with my granola bar? Well, That's a waste. It's full there's of a, gluten. So there's a can... child in Asia right now it that will... is starving, and you just wasted that granola bar. That child is free. Wait, 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 wait. You want to share it? <laughs> Thank you. Stop. You're poisoning yourself with gluten, man understand that we're destroying nature by eating meat. We're killing all of the world's supply of nature and goodness, and that is letting the demon back up. The angels cannot exist. He wasn't always like this. At one point in time, we used to have normal conversations about normal stuff like the weather or sports or politics. Well, I suppose we still have conversations about politics. You know, I heard Donald Trump was a vegan in his backyard. He has free-range chickens. 
and like the way he gets his hair to look so amazing, like he gets egg whites. But it's all stupid gibberish to me. I can't handle it. But yeah, no, he 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 didn't used to be like this. He wasn't like this. At one point in time, he Whoa. was just great. It's not gluten free. Uh, I think I'm gonna turn on some North Korean guitar ensembles. Nope, 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 nope. Shut up! I can't do this anymore. Oh my god! I'm. I need to leave. Hey man. Shut up! I hate you and everything that has to ever do with you. Have a good day, guy. <laughs> Sometimes I reflect on my past self. I wonder if it was even me. I'm a puppet on a string Tracy Island, time traveling Diamond could have shaped heartaches Come to find you for Who are you? Hi.